Hey fellow writers, that salty novelist Brooke here, and welcome to my channel. author to book to community and I wanted to make a video to introduce myself as well as tell you guys kind of how I think I'm gonna lay my channel out so you can get an idea of what kind of videos I'll be posting how often I'll be posting and all the good juicy bits in between fun fact I am 21 years old most people think I'm younger than I am you can take it or leave it but I, I promise you I am 21 I was also born with a rare inherited lung disease called cystic fibrosis. CF affects the lungs and the digestive system. It can also affect other organs, but those are the two main ones that affect me. So I have to do daily medications and treatments to keep my health up as much as possible. I also have to take medicine just to digest food because my body is not able to digest it properly. It makes it hard for me to gain weight and to get all of the nutrients out of food that my body needs. I spend a lot of my days just doing medicines and treatments, but so is the life. If it keeps me healthy, then it's just something I've got to do. You may or may not have noticed that I have this little like white thing poking out right here. That is part of the dressing on my central line that's in my chest. The past two weeks, I've been feeling pretty sick. I've had to have some very high-powered IV antibiotics to help get my system back on track. And today, as of this recording, is actually my last day of doing IV therapy. I'm feeling a lot better, and that's just something that comes with having cystic fibrosis. I just wanted to let you guys know that you're not seeing things. There is something sticking to me, and I am aware of what it is. That's just something I have to deal with. But apart from having cystic fibrosis, I'm also an avid horse rider. I have ridden horses since I was five years old, and I actually own my own horse. And he lives on our property, so it's a win-win. I can go visit every day. I ride whenever I'm not sick, and I make sure to take care of him. It's a big responsibility, but I really love it. That's mostly what a lot of my books are focused on when I write. If you ever hear me talking about what I'm writing, be prepared, it's probably horse related. But that's one of the things that I know and write best. That's kind of what I run with whenever I write books or when I do book reviews because most of my bookshelf over there is full of horse books. Ever since I was little, I have always loved English. I've even written a couple books that my great grandmother had saved where I just wrote it on like pieces of paper and stapled it together. So I've always been writing some kind of book or poem. I keep names of potential characters and horse names in separate notebooks. I've always excelled in English in school. Unfortunately, I have not yet been able to go to college because of my CF, but I'm hoping next year to go to college and major in creative writing. I think that's gonna be the perfect outlet for my career choice I can go on to do just about anything that's what I'm going to aim towards once I'm able to finally get into college and be able to major in something that I'm really passionate about most of the stuff that I write is fiction I find it really hard to write nonfiction because it's hard to come up with like the realistic stories and so for me writing fiction is a lot easier it's a lot more fun you can do anything and everything in it, and that's what most of my writing is based on. So you can get a feel for the type of writing that I do. I also like the point of view of third person, so that I can switch around different characters, leave some sitting at home while the others are out partying or something. That is my point of view for most of my writing that I do. I also like first person 
but it's a little bit harder to do because you can't just leave that person and go to somebody else. So third person is my typical go-to whenever I'm doing a writing project. I also partake in NaNoWriMo and I have done NaNoWriMo in 2015 and 2016. I've won both years and I actually printed out my manuscript from last year, but I've yet to edit it because you know how they say to take a couple weeks or even months off of your writing? Unfortunately for me, I found out that doesn't really work. When I take off a substantial amount of time, I lose motivation. So I never got around to editing because I lost motivation to do so. My goal for this year is to take maybe like one or two weeks off and then get to editing because by then I'm still really excited and I won't lose the motivation. I wanted to start That Salty Novelist as a YouTube channel because I wanted to be able to document my progress with NaNoWriMo when it comes in November as well as give some pointers and ideas from my perspective of writing. And I know I'm not a professional, I don't have a degree yet, but I can give, you know, insights about me that may help somebody else. In addition to doing book reviews, I also am going to be sharing my progress as I go through NaNoWriMo and maybe even do like some live streams where we all write together and do like some writing prompts and do some virtual write-ins like they do. I have several different ideas and I'm just, you know, getting started. This is my first initial video. As I watch more YouTubers, I get more and more ideas. But the main focus of my channel will be book reviews, NaNoWriMo progress, and writing tips and tricks that I've learned. If you guys are interested, you can also follow my Instagram, also at that salty novelist, as well as my Twitter. Writing is a really great creative outlet, and I think that the community is so important. I'm always a huge fan of communities of any kind. As well as with the chronic illness community, I have a vlog that I do on YouTube with my other account called Chronic Beauty 65 and I post daily blogs about my life with CF so if you want to check that channel out as well feel free the link will be in the description below I just hope that you guys enjoy following me in my writing journey and we can all encourage each other if you guys like today's video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe I hope you all have a great day and I will see you guys on Wednesday next week. Bye!